This is Laura Bunk with Laura Bunk Homes. Today in this video I want to talk to you about why you should use a realtor to buy or sell a home. I would caution you against not using a realtor because if you choose to buy or sell on your own, here are just a, a few list of items that you'll have to take care of. First, you'll have to determine how much home can I afford? Second, what will my down payment be? And then if you have to sell a home to buy another home, um, what will my home currently sell for? You'll have to decide. Then you'll have to get the house list ready. What does that even mean? How do I get the house ready to market? Um, what do buyers want? What, what repairs? What do I need to do to this house? Then once it's ready, I'm going to have to put it on the market. Um, after you put it on the market, you're going to need to market the house. How do you do that? Who do you market it to? Where do you publish it? How do you bring buyers to come see your house? Then once you get the buyers there, you're in charge of the sale of your house. So you're gonna have to be there for every showing to allow the buyer or the buyer's agent to come in and tour. Um, then after that, you're gonna have to consider every offer that you get. You're gonna have to negotiate those offers. Once you come to some terms that you agree on with the buyer, then you're going to have to hire an attorney to write up the contract for you. After you do that, then you're going to think about buying your next home. So you're going to need to study different neighborhoods, um, go look at other homes on your own. Then you're going to have to figure out what, again, can I afford or what can I pay to afford this home? Uh, what should I offer on this home? Then you're going to have to hire an attorney to write that offer for you. Um, and then you're going to have to schedule home inspections. Well, what happens if the home inspections go bad? What do I do? Well, then you're going to need to negotiate the repairs. Who do I call? How do I do that? You're then going to, uh, after you've finished negoti negotiating those repairs, you're going to have to get a survey. And uh, then after the survey, you're going to cross your fingers and hope that the home appraises because if it doesn't appraise, trust me, you don't want to deal with that. Then you're going to need to get the HOA documents if there's an HOA. Um, then you're going to have to order a title search. After the title search, uh, you're going to have to shop for title insurance, flood insurance, home insurance, all of those fancy things. And then once you get close to the closing date, you're going to need to make sure to schedule a home walkthrough and make sure nothing has happened to that house during that time period. Um, because then you're going to have to delay closing if something did happen to the house. Wow, that is a whole lot of things to think about. So if you were to have just hired an agent, your agent would have done all of those things for you. Your agent would have made sure that that was the smoothest process so that you could have continued to enjoy your life, work at your job, and not worry about the stress of all these little details. So besides just facilitating the process, realtors do a whole lot more for you that is to your benefit. Um, so first, to the buyer. I want to talk to you buyers about why you need a realtor. Well, a lot of buyers will think, why can't I just call the listing agent um, that I see on HAR or on Zillow and have them show me the house um, and then have them write the contract for me? Well, you absolutely can do that, but I want you to be aware that that agent works for the seller. So it is that agent's job to convey to the seller everything you tell them, and it is their job to get the highest offer for their client's house. Um, they don't represent you, and they're not looking out for your best interest. So if you were to hire your own realtor to take you to that house um, and have financial conversations with your realtor, they would then protect your information, they would negotiate for you, and likely they would get you a better deal than if you went at it on your own and used the listing agent. Then the second reason would be because as a buyer, you don't even pay for a realtor. It is absolutely a free cost to you. Nothing is free in life, but, but this one is. Um, so the sellers actually pay all the realtor commissions. So when you hire an agent, not only are you hiring someone to have your best interest and to negotiate on your behalf, but you don't even have to pay them to do that. How nice. Um, third, the buyer um, doesn't always know the trends of the market or the neighborhood. They, they don't know what things have sold for around there. And you know maybe they hear word of mouth around what things are selling for, but they might not have the whole story as to what a home looks like and why it sold for what it did. As your agent, your, your buyer's agent will be able to tell you, you know, what they think this home is valued at so that you're not ending up overpaying for a home. Also for um, 
especially for first time home buyers, it's really difficult to understand the contract. Um, there's so many terms and conditions within the contract that your agent will help you uh, understand and walk through what those terms mean. And they are again, negotiating for the best terms for you. And then lastly, for a buyer, I get this question all the time is, you know, if I'm working with a builder, a lot of times the builder is going to give me a better rate without an agent. Um, but more than likely that builder has an agent that's working for them, or they call it a sales manager, which they are an agent. Um, and that person works for the builder. It's just like using a listing agent. So that person is trying to keep as much money in the builder's pocket as possible. And you want to make sure that you're again getting the best deal also um, that person that's working for the builder or even if you're working directly with the builder they're not going to have to disclose to you if there's any bad terms or or sticky situations in that contract um, but your realtor is going to know exactly what that contract means and going to be able to fight on your behalf so next i want to talk to you sellers to sellers, what is the benefit from using an, a, an agent to sell my house versus selling it on my own, which is a term FISBO, what we call for sale by owner. Why not just be a FISBO? Well, a lot of people decide to sell their own house strictly because they wanna save on commission costs. Um, I do always tell people this, that majority of the time, if you sell your own house, um, the buyer's going to probably have an agent because again, it's free to them to have the agent and they're all going to expect you seller to pay them. And that would mean you're technically only saving half the cost, but doing a hundred percent of the work that, that you're still doing. Um, and your, and other reasons would be your agent would really guide you on how to price that house. So I always tell my clients this, when a house is priced right, not only is it gonna sell quicker, but you're probably gonna end up selling it for more. A lot of for sale by owners aren't sure what they need to sell their house for, and so they just come up with a number um, that they think, and either it's too high and the house sits for a long time, or it's too low and they end up leaving money on the table that they could have gotten had they used an agent. Another reason would be you need um, an agent to give you staging suggestions to tell you what repairs do I need to make to my house? What color should I paint this wall? Um, where should I move this furniture? What about the lighting? All of these little things matter so much. So I just did a video on staging. If you want more information on that, go watch my video or read my blog on staging. Um, fourth would be your agent as a seller's agent is going to do professional photos for you or at least i do for my clients i hire really great photographers to make your house look stunning online to a buyer to bring multiple buyers in and that again is something that i pay for you don't have to worry about it you don't even have to be there just give me the key i'll make sure the house is all staged properly we'll get great photography done um, the next would be security. So if you're listing your own house, how do you know who's coming into your home? Well, when I get requests to do showings, I always talk to that buyer or the buyer's agent and I, I vet them out. I ask them, have you been pre-qualified? Um, I talk to them a little bit about what they're looking for so I know a little bit more about them so that your house is a little bit more secure than if you just let some stranger walk in. Uh, the next thing would be marketing. The last thing for sellers is marketing. How, how are you going to market your house? Really, that's huge. As a realtor, I have so many connections to different publications. I can get your house um, put out there a lot better than if you just put a for sale sign in the yard. Uh, so then again, there's tons of, of benefits, like I said, briefly to both buyers and sellers negotiating. I'm a hard negotiator. If you hire a good realtor, they're going to either seller get you the highest price from your home or buyer, they're going to get you the best deal. Uh, paperwork, we went through that long list of paperwork and, and process at the beginning. You really don't want to deal with all that paperwork. Just let a professional do it. Then la um, next would be facilitating. Um, you know, what if your house doesn't appraise? I mentioned that in the list. Well, I, you know, I've seen where homes don't appraise and it is a headache. And as a, a, your realtor, as a professional, I make sure that you as the buyer or the seller is protected and you again, get the best deal. And then lastly, when we, when we close on your house, after you buy or you sell, I will make sure to follow up with you. Um, you are my client forever and all of my referrals for home projects and repairs they are disposable to you. Anyone that I know, I will refer to you and I will make sure that you are taken care of. So these are just a couple of reasons why I think you should use a realtor. And if you have any questions, 
please reach out to me. You can find me at lauravonkholmes.com um, or give me a call anytime. I'm happy to chat with you.